I'm, I'm trying. It's hard. Wait, let me call you right back. Yo! Hey, man! JJ! Hey! It's... It's Chris Pine. How are you? What's going on? Man, what do you... What brings you to this... This park? Yeah, I'm watching my daughter, too. Yeah, just doing the dad thing. The... The one with pigtails by the swings is mine. Rucola. Yeah, I, I wanted to name her Ruby. Her mom wanted to name her Nicola. We met in the middle. I know it sounds like Ricola. So every time I call out her name, it sounds like I'm trying to do an impersonation of the, the Ricola guy. <laughs> uh, uh, how about, what about yours? An anathema, anathema. Okay, interesting name. This is this is great, isn't it? I I, I haven't seen you since we we did the Star Trek Beyond. No, no, no. We worked together on Star Trek Into Darkness. Justin Lim directed Beyond. I always get those two mixed up. Anyway, who the fuck cares? We're we're both freaking parents now. Our daughters are, are climbing the. Hey, hey, hey! No, no, no! Get down from there, Rucola. Don't need a Rucola. I'm not sick. <laughs> anyway, parenting. Am I right? <laughs> oh, you're not J.J. Abrams. Oh God, I'm. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My bad. Oh, wow. I feel so stupid. Uh, it's just the, the dark rimmed glasses and your first name and the casual sweater and jeans vibe. I am so, so sorry. Uh, but, but hey, who wants to be J.J. Abrams anyway? Lost didn't make any sense. <laughs> Rucola, stop it. That that's that's not how we play with tennis balls. Um I'm sorry. This is weird, but uh I'm not actually I'm not actually Chris Pine. I I just sort of made that up. Um it's this, this whole being a dad at the park thing in Brentwood, of all places. I'm just so not good at it. And my wife said to overcome my social anxiety that, it, that I, should, I should try on different personalities. And uh, I, I guess I, I got a little, a little carried away this time. So um, I'm actually the musician Beck. Kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm Tom. I live in Glendale. And uh, I work in tech. I don't know how to start conversations anymore. I, uh, I haven't made a new friend since Mike Filer uh, when I was a junior in high school. And uh, and as a dad, all I want to do is geek out on sleep schedules and German goat formula. You know, so it's, it's hard to introduce yourself to, to someone new when, when you're like thinking, hey, I wouldn't want to be friends with me, right? Oh, Ricola, it's fine. It's, daddy's fine. It's just daddy's making a new friend. Uh, you, you wouldn't. Want to get ice creams from the ice cream truck? Yeah, me neither. No, I was not going to suggest we both have a king cone. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Oh, well, nice hanging with you, JJ. Uh, Finkelstein? Um, maybe I'll see you again at, at this park and our, our, our kids could I don't know, have a play date and hang by, by my pool. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't have an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Um, 
And by the way, I'm not totally convinced you're not J.J. Abrams, okay? I think you're just saying that because you want to you wanna brush me off or whatever, which is fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll make friends with somebody else, okay? Right, Rook? Rooks? Rookala? Sorry I jumped off like that. I uh, thought I saw J.J. Abrams, but it just turned out to be some weirdo look-alike. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I know, I did the whole, your name is Tom, and you're, you have social anxiety thing, and he totally bought it. I have no idea I'm Chris Pine. Anyway, I should probably go before the paparazzi show up, and Twitter starts calling me, like, uh, Fisherman Hobbit, <laughs> or whatever they... Whatever they're going to call me. Hey, how about I pick us up some pizza from uh, John and Vince on the way home? How's that sound? I know. I know. Can you believe I found the only payphone in Brentwood? <laughs> All right. All right. I'll see you soon, babe. Bye. Rucola. Oh, fuck me. Rucola. All of your best friends are gonna be in this program. All of them. Gift that keeps on giving. Be messy and be crazy and have fun. You really can push yourself to do amazing things in such a limited period of time. The best art needs limitations and the greatest limit of all time is time. Actors, directors, writers, producers, and composers that are changing the game in theater, film, and television. The artists that are as kooky and crazy and imaginative and as go-for-it minded as you are. And those connections extend to collaborations I have today and I am so grateful for that experience. Hearing from other artists and like more established professionals was just really useful. It's really an experience that challenges you as an actor, director, player, whatever you're doing, producer, and allows you to experience that thrill of art making in just the best form with some really great people. It's about being bold. It's about challenging yourself. It's going to teach you the lessons that you'll be able to take with you through every audition and every rehearsal and every show. Trust your instincts because they're correct and you don't have time to second guess them anyway. The 24 Hour Plays has provided such an amazing community for me and I would not be the artist I am today without it. Don't hold back. Embrace the stress and just go for it.